Hi, this is Steve at blessedhopeforever.com. We have every reason to be looking up now more than ever since 5778 has closed. Just as the Revelation 12 sign meant something, I believe 5778 was a highly relative prophetic marker as well. I remind you, 66.6 .6 Jubilee years, that's a 50-year Jubilee or biblical cycle, from 2448 on the Hebrew calendar to 5778 on the Hebrew calendar, or 2018, 2019 AD, or 5778. 66.6 .6 Jubilee years. From the law at Mount Sinai, 2448, to our present time period, 66.6 .6 Jubilees. 5778 minus 2448, the law given at Mount Sinai, is 3330 years plus 50 Jubilees equals 66.6 .6 Jubilees. This is one reason, just really one of many, that strongly suggests 5778 was a year worth taking note of. The temperature of our sun is 5778 Kelvin. Jesus is actually referred to several times in Scripture as the sun, S-U-N. The sun itself was given to mark times, seasons, and years, both physically and spiritually, I believe. The tendency is to pass by a signpost believing that, well, that it, believing it to be an exit off the freeway, so to speak. I think time has shown that not to be the case, at least not so far. Now, one day this will all make sense. So we continue with eager anticipation to explore possibilities, an activity which I believe the Word itself confirms that God takes great delight in, which is a love for His appearing. Now, we either have that or we don't. And not a single person on earth can level a charge against any one of God's people for anxiously anticipating our Lord's return. Yet, strangely, many do. And even those of us who continue to watch tend to forget the signposts that we have passed. Now, just what happened exactly seven months into the presidency of a man who has sevens written all over him? Seven months exact from Donald Sevens Trump taking office to the great American solar eclipse that divided the U.S. in half, which proved to be a prophetic, uh, it proved to be prophetic, given the dram dramatic difference between the State of the Union now and when the eclipse occurred. March 8 was also Trump's 777th day as president, and March 8 coincided with Creation Day 4 on the Hebrew calendar, month 1, day 4, the day that the sun, moon, and the stars were created to divide the day from the night, which, was, which were created for signs and for seasons and for days and years, Genesis 1.14. So now we look ahead. We continue looking ahead. Take note of uh, what you're seeing here on the screen. Spring equinox, March 20. Christ crucified, which is Passover, March 21. Israel left Ramses, left Egypt, March 22. Christ risen, March 24. The Red Sea crossing, March 28. Now, Easter on the Western calendar is April 21. Uh, Pentecost, if you Google it, on the Western calendar is June 9. But Pentecost is always 50 days from Passover, which is March 21. Passover, March 21, plus 50 days to May 11. June 8, minus 50 days, is April 19, which is the second Passover on the Hebrew calendar. However, June 8 was the day Ezekiel received his vision, Ezekiel 1.1. The 14th day of the month of ER is, 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 a, a, is marked on the calendar as the second Passover. 
when the Holy Temple stood in Jerusalem, this day served as a second chance for those who were unable to bring the Passover offering on the eve of the first Passover one month earlier, the 14th of Nisan. And we read about that in Numbers 9. Ascension, April 30, Pentecost, May 11. May 2 is the Leah of Messiah. May 5 is Creation Day 1, according to Torah calendar. And May 10, Adam created, as well as in Independence Day, Israel's Independence Day, May 10. If the, if the rapture occurs the day Adam was created, May 10, well, then the tribulation would begin 30 days later on the day that Ezekiel received his vision, June 8, Ezekiel 1.1. 1, 1. And we, we see that June 2 is Jerusalem Day. June 21 is summer solstice. And so I consider all of these dates high watch days. And I will never forget that on March 8, 2019, our president said that the Democratic Party has become anti-Israel. Of course, it's it's been that way for a long time, but to hear the president say that on March 8 was something that caught my attention. And in that day will I make Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. Zechariah 12.3 Anti-Semitic comments influencing U.S. politics and reshaping America's opinion regarding Israel. We know where that that will leave post-rapture America. And so we continue to wait. Note the relationship of faith in the context of his appearing to us in 1 Peter 1.7 that the trial of your faith being much more precious than of gold that perishes, though it be tried with fire, might be found unto praise and honor and glory at the appearing of Jesus Christ. And we strongly thought the rapture might occur at the Revelation 12 sign, and when it didn't, out of desperation and anticipation, people manufactured what they believe were even greater expectations, yet nothing happened. It was grasping at straws. We passed the one-year point beyond the sign, September 23rd, yet still nothing happened. Now here we are, well into 2019, and, and many believers have become discouraged. For many a Christian, that once close involvement produced great joy and comfort and brought an unprecedented degree of learning, enlightenment, awakeness, awareness. Their Bibles opened up to them in a, in a way that they had never known before. Many have stayed the course, not giving up, but pressing on. Just as enthusiastic as ever, continuing to grow in grace and knowledge of Christ despite the obvious disappointments. But we came to understand there was more to all of this than just the final call home to be with our Lord. We've come to realize that through the process of it all, our faith, which is more precious than gold, has become strengthened and our hope more blessed and eager than ever before. I disappointed many in the late fall of 2018 by suggesting that this may go to 2021, a year that Torah calendar shows ends the 6,000 years. I continue to hope that that's not the case, but I want you to take note of how quickly time has flown by since the Revelation 12 sign and just what all we have seen unfold since that time. The Lord, folks, is not slack concerning His promise as some men count slackness, but is long-suffering to us, not willing that any should perish, but that all should come to repentance, 2 Peter 3, 9. The fact that the Holy Spirit would even mention the word slack, to me, indicates the foreknowledge on God's part that this is how many would feel when their expectations were not met. He explains himself by referring to his patience, 
his long suffering toward those who are his, but have yet been brought into the fold, his lost sheep who must be found. Let us not lose heart in doing good, for in due time we will reap if we do not grow weary. Galatians 6 9. For when we were yet without strength, in due time Christ died for the ungodly. Romans 5 6. Who once were disobedient when the patience of God kept waiting in the days of Noah during the construction of the ark, in which a few, that is, eight persons, were brought safely through the water, 1 Peter 3.20. Remembering without ceasing your work of faith and labor of love and patience of hope in our Lord Jesus Christ in the sight of God and our Father, 1 Thessalonians 1.3. So at this point, I remain fixated on the near future with all of the significant dates that I listed in 2019, while my telescope is still pointed at what I believe to be the 6,000 years ending in 2021 and the full generation of strength, 80 years, extending to 2028 when Israel turns 80, 8 representing the number of new beginning. Because the church is uniquely distinct from Israel, the years of 2021 to 2028 would have been unexpected. The timing of the 2020 U.S. election, which will bring about a dramatic change in power and policy structure, no matter which direction it goes, is worth taking note of. I see zero evidence, folks, of the world that as we know it, returning to days that we once considered normal. We've gone way past that point. Only further political division, increase in lawlessness, ethnic division, the battle between good and evil becoming more intense day by day. God appears to be allowing things to unfold slowly. He's always done that. The period that we are now passing through is a time of harvest, the gathering in of lost and confused, righteous souls who, who have for so long been tormented day and night. The remaining lost sheep are being gathered into the fold. That doesn't mean that our Lord cannot or will not return for his church at any time. He could come today. And I do not ask anyone to agree with me on anything, but to follow their own conscience, do your own studying, draw your own conclusions regarding the matter, this will remain my position until I have reason to believe otherwise. This is Steve. I love you all. I truly do. Thanks for your ongoing messages of encouragement, as well as your prayers and your support. Until next time, thanks for watching.